Now we are going to cover the architecture of the vendor invoice management process. So here we have the VIM reporting analytics. So the first portion that will be covered is the image scan. So what happens is uh, an invoice might come as an email through a PDF format or any other format or an email or an invoice can come manually where it is posted to the mailbox and the accounts payable personal or the office personal opens the physical invoice and scans it in or it can come through an EDI. So whatever it comes through, it can go through our OCR technology, which is the optical character recognition, where what it does, it does it reads all the letters and alphabets and the vendor number and the amount and all the important things that are in an invoice and it is intelligent enough to figure it out what is the vendor number based on the vendor master data that is being moved from sap to icc every every night and then it will figure out the vendor number and the amount and the tax ID and all those things, and it will figure out which is the which is the document or which is the vendor it belongs to that invoice. After that, so after the image is scanned, it goes to OCR. OCR does the optical character recognition, and after that, the document is being sent for processing. So this document processing from here, the SAP component starts. The SAP component starts here where it goes through a number of exceptions. So just a simple example can be, you have a purchase order invoice and it's a three-way match and we got that invoice and for some reason we don't have the goods receipt done. So since it's a three-way match, you now need to do the goods receipt. So instead of this invoice coming to AP, it will go to the corresponding person in the uh, warehouse or for a service receipt, it will go to the corresponding person who will do the goods receipt or a service entry sheet. Once the service entry sheet and the goods receipt is done, either it can be auto posted based on the invoices or based on the company requirement, or it will be sent to AP where AP will, uh, will post the invoice. Once the invoice posting is done, they can be approval after posting, like a simple example can be in some companies, they say, okay, if the invoices is for some service and if it is more than $500,000, it needs to go for approval. That, that approval again is through a workflow, which can be outside of VIM or it can put inside the VIM. So that's one approval can be, or it can be a non-PO approval where you want to make sure it if you want to pay something in a non-PO because a non-PO is like a two-way match. So you need some approval before you are giving the money away to the vendor, okay? And again, every portion of invoice approval or exception, we have something called approval portal, mobile approval, and supply cell service. So supply cell service is something where what it does is like the suppliers can query about what is the status of their invoices? When will they get paid on certain? So invoice inquiry, they can do from the supply cell service. Now this, this vendor invoice management can be integrated with SAP CRM, SAP BW. So CRM is where we can do this where a customer is also a vendor. So in this case, the SAP CRM is required. And then also we can integrate with SAP NetWeaver BW. That's for that's for reporting purpose and of course we can do it with the cloud solution or even network integration where uh, lots of times what happens is you probably 60 or 70 percent of the vendors are in Ariba and 30 percent are in non-Ariba but vendor invoice management will store all the data for regardless of whether it's an Ariba vendor or non-Ariba vendor so that uh, so that the end user has only one point, one place to query. So again, we the vendor invoice management process simplifies the reporting of any vendor related issues, any payment related issues to the vendor. So as long as it there's a good 
thumb rule. Um, happy company is a reflection of a happy vendor because a vendor will give you the stuff that you are going to use to build your product and manufacture and get sales. Without vendor, you cannot manufacture anything and also you cannot sell anything. So vendor invoice management takes care of that, of all those situations where you need to maintain a good relationship with the vendor so that they can chip in on the time when you need the products, the raw materials right away. So vendor invoice management actually improves the relationship between you and the vendor. It makes also make sure uh, that you get in the early discount uh, that if you have a vendor set up with 2% net 15, that means you pay the vendor in 15 days from the, from the document date of the invoice, then you get a 2% discount. Or you can, you can do other stuffs like uh, you want to pay uh, invoices early so that you most of the big projects you want to pay pay the vendor a certain token amount like 10 percent and those things can be done very easily through uh, vendor invoice management.